Hey, what's up? Did you notice how good you feel all of a sudden? I wonder why. Hey, I want to talk about something really cool I found at Academy Sports. Did you know Monarch makes 357 Magnum? I had no idea. It's pretty hot shit. Let me tell you, 158 grain, jacketed soft point, made in Brazil. I don't even think they have internet down there, computers or nothing, man. But uh, they make a hot round. Let me tell you, this stuff is very, very, very potent, fire breathing. I feel like it's an old school 158 grain, something that they might have might have uh, missed the specs on. All right, so open carry is a topic that comes up a lot in the state that I'm in. North Carolina is an open carry state. I'm not anti-open carry. There are times that I open carry. Open carry can be appropriate. One reason is you're quicker on the draw. But the reason we don't open carry is because you give up that tactical, what is it called? Element of surprise. All right, so as a concealed carry instructor, my preference is to have the element of surprise. But you know, there are times that open carry is appropriate, and that is as if you are dealing with a lot of cash, jewelry, valuables, you're in high risk retail, or you're on a security gig, just like this duty belt I got set up, flashlight, IFAC, you know, everything you might need for a duty application. So we're gonna do a couple drills open carry here. I've had some issues with this particular gun. This is my service revolver, the 686 Plus. I call it my service revolver because when I instruct, this is the gun that's on my hip. I find it to be probably the most deadly revolver I own because it does have that Crimson Trace laser advantage. Also, it's a seven shot plus model, so you get that extra round, <clears throat> which is always kind of nice when you're already low capacity. So seven shots, I'm on par with the 1911. All right, so. I'm gonna do the first drill that you would do on a North Carolina law enforcement qualification, which is at three rounds, three shots, three seconds, strong hand only. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of those, all right? And then I'm gonna do a reload, right hand only. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how we do that and how I would instruct it, okay? So from right here, I'm a little bit further than three yards, but I'm gonna show you how I do it on my qualification, and then I'm gonna show you how you would be expected to do it on the law enforcement qualification. Let's start with the law enforcement qualification, what that might look like. All right, so here we go. All right, scan assessed, no problem, okay? So basically, you're gonna come out, you're gonna extend. I like to punch out a little gangster tilt on it, okay? And at three yards and further, you could get away with that. But if we are, in fact, within three yards, this is how I teach my students to do this drill. I'm going to fire from right here. This is called retention. It is not comfortable to shoot when you have magnum rounds. Let me tell you why. Gases are escaping this forcing cone. So when I'm this tight, you better believe I feel the recoil. I feel it all right in here. It's violent, especially with this particular round. All right. I got one round left. I'm going to demonstrate a right hand reload only. The key with the reload on the one hand is use gravity still. You're going to need to depress. You're going to have to stick that barrel into your belt with the extractor rod on the outside. Okay, it's, it's just the way that it's taught. It's the way that I would teach you how to do it if you came through a course. So here we go. Bring it up. Depress those rounds. I'm going to stick the barrel into my belt, extract the rod on the outside of the belt. I'm going to reach for that fresh source, keeping my head up, eyes up, because this is a dangerous situation to be in. Hopefully all my rounds go into place. If they don't, oh well, and that may be the case. And that's how we're going to do that, just like that. Okay, we got to do right and left-handed shooting. It's so important to do both. So now I'm going to do left hand, three rounds, three seconds. Now that's a little more difficult to achieve here with a left hand only draw. You might need to move your entire duty belt over to get to the gun in a better manner, but there's really no easy way to do it because you have to get a grip in the holster. Again. Uh. 
that. All right, now we will do the left hand reload. Try and get a better view here. So I'm gonna run out of time any minute.